Hi guys, so Boris Johnson and Kirst Starmer clashed today on the issue of voting remotely or voting in person in Parliament. So let's hear what they had to say. Mr Speaker, I know you feel very strongly about this. The scenes yesterday of MPs queuing to vote and members being unable to vote were frankly shameful. This should not be a political issue. Members on all sides know that this is completely unnecessary and unacceptable. If any other employer behaved like this, it would be a clear and obvious case of indirect discrimination under the Equalities Act. A clear and obvious case. So can I urge the Prime Minister to stop this and to continue to allow online voting and the hybrid parliament to resume? Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, I, I, again, I, look, I, I, I must... I do think that the, the Right Honourable Gentleman needs to consider what is really going on throughout the country, where ordinary people are, are getting used to, to queuing uh, for, for long periods of time to do their shopping uh, or, or whatever it happens to be. I you see here that Boris is attempting to play the populist card. I'm a man of the people. I care about the people. Of course, it's, I, I don't know whether it works on people or not, but perhaps it does because he's been coached on what to say. I must say, I do, not think it un I do not think it unreasonable that we should ask parliamentarians to come back to this place and do their job for the people of this country. But, but they are doing their job. They're voting. They're discussing policy. They're asking you questions. You, you're not always there to answer them. But that is their job. They are doing their job. They're doing it in a different way. In the same way, Many people who are not going to work into the physical offices are still working. They're still doing their job. They're doing it remotely. So why you're saying we want people, we, we, people want the politicians to do their job. They are doing their job. And I know it's difficult. I know it's different. I'm, I apologise. I apologise to colleagues for the inconvenience. And I, and I apologise to all those who are, and I apologise. I, I apologize. I don't understand why he's saying I apologize for the inconvenience. No, what is Boris Johnson saying here? <laughs> I don't think he even understands what he's talking about himself. You don't say I apologize. You could say I understand the it causes an inconvenience. I understand it's a problem. You don't say I apologize. Why would you apologize for the inconvenience if you believe that it's important that they're there. You can say, look, I understand it's a problem for many people, but your, um, your problem is overridden by my position. I, I don't agree with his position, of course, but if he truly believes in his position, he wouldn't be apologizing for it. Rise to all those who have particular difficulties with it because they are shielded or because they are elderly, and, and it's vital that they should. And, and the change we're making today is that they they should be able to vote by proxy. They should be able to vote by proxy. But I I have to say, Mr. Speaker, when when the people of this country look at what we are doing, asking schools, he now says he supports going schools to go back. I mean, our, our, our policy is, is is test test trace and isolate. His his policy is agree, you turn, and then criticise, uh, Mr. Speaker. But but because he, when he goes with you behind closed doors and you say, give us your support, and then after you don't follow through with what you agreed with him, of course he's going to criticize you. That, that's normal politics. And what, I can tell, what I can tell him is that I do think the people of this country, on the whole, will want their parliamentarians to be back at work, doing their job, passing, passing legislation. But th that's what they're doing, Boris. It's, it's so interesting that Boris is so adamant about people going, you know, to being in Parliament when he's hardly, when he's hardly ever there. And, and also this fact of, yes, we need people back at work, back at work. When there was the flooding, Boris Johnson was AWOL. He was missing in action. Where the hell was Boris Johnson during the floodings back in October and November? He was dragged kicking and screaming to do his job. And now he's talking about we need politicians back in Parliament to do their job. Station ...on behalf of the people of this country. And that is what, that is what this government intends to do. No, the, the intention is to fill the Parliament up with people who will scream down the opposition. 
Boris Johnson is on his own there. See, there are very few people surrounding him. He needs that energy. He's an empty suit. Look at him. He's incapable of responding in any sort of powerful way to, uh, against um, Kerstarmer. He's in, in, incapable of responding to Kerstarmer. So he needs his support base around him. He's like the bully when the bully is on their own. When the bully is taken away from the gang, from the group, uh, the bully is a coward. He hides. Boris Johnson hides. When he can't hide, he's a little, a little man, a little scared child. He needs the bully. The bully needs the, the gang around him. He needs his support base. And they're doing whatever they can to get Parliament filled up again. Because what other reason would there be? You think the Tories care about democracy? You think the, court, the Tories care about having uh, the Parliament full of people so that they can have a proper debate? Look at, if you don't believe me, look at the debates from last year. Boris Johnson says crap and then uh, he's asked questions and uh, the screaming yahoos behind him drown drone out uh, sorry drown out any questions or any response the uh, the opposition have to Boris Johnson he needs his screaming fans behind him i can't think of any other reason it's not about public safety it's not about health it's not about protecting the lives of uh, or the well-being of uh, members of parliament it's about protecting Boris Johnson and protecting the government let me know in the comments guys what you think um this is my feeling this is my belief if you th if you have a different opinion i'd like to hear it thanks why not become a patreon and enjoy access to our discord server where we share news chat and have some fun if you become a patron you can also make video suggestions on topics that are important to you check it out via the link in the description